When I ask people what the biggest barrier they have to creating art and an art business, they love the number one answer of what their barrier is won't surprise you one bit. It's time. We are ambitious creators that also have lives, full lives with children and partners and other jobs and houses to clean and bodies to take to the gym. And we run out of time very quickly. The reason I think about this a lot is because my brain is pretty much completely full of butterflies and I like to flit and fly around and it's very hard for me to focus and drill down into dedicated task completion. So I've had to learn a few things so that I can actually accomplish anything. Welcome to The Josie Show, where it's artist to artist chat about making great art and selling your art. I love to help artists because I think creatives should get paid. I have a private coaching community called Art Revenue Coaching, where I create training and community to help artists. One of the things we talk about a lot in that membership is time. I actually created a full training about artist productivity that is inside the membership and you should consider joining because I have a lot of great resources in there and not for nothing, you can get some incredible benefits inside the membership in just 10 minutes a day. The doors will be open again soon and you can add your name to the waiting list at josielewis.com slash arc. Time management is different for creatives than other people. One of the reasons this is true is because of flow. Artists are better than the average person at getting into flow. Flow is that state of effortless enjoyment that makes time go so fast. It's when you've been making something and you look up to discover that four hours have passed without you even noticing. <laughs> Harnessing flow is the very best way to develop your unique voice and make a lot of wonderful art and enjoy every minute. However, one of the facts about flow is that during the experience, the prefrontal cortex kind of slows down. Now, the prefrontal cortex is in our brains where there is high level reasoning, planning, and judging. It's called the executive of the brain. We absolutely need the prefrontal cortex for basic humaning, but I really enjoy shutting it off with flow. In fact, I would argue that finding flow as an artist is required to accomplish anything of significance. However, I also need to turn the prefrontal cortex back on to tackle less flow inducing activities, such as posting to social media and responding to my collectors. There are a lot of things in my art business that do not give me flow, but in order for my art business to thrive, I have to pay attention to them and I have to activate my executive brain. Now, I can only speak for myself here. I love, love, love to flow a lot. And I do not necessarily have an orderly, sensible mind when it comes to all that other stuff. Sometimes I can spend too much time on the flow side and neglect the practical stuff. And sometimes I can swing in the opposite direction and spend way too much time on the business stuff and neglect the flow. It's a tightrope that every creative will have to figure out. For me, I dedicate the first few hours of the day to flow tasks such as writing, then the next few hours to admin and business, then afternoons and evenings to creative time blocking. That's what works for my own brain and my own rhythms, but everybody is different. You'll have to figure out your own system. Wherever possible, I try to transform my non-flow tasks, my executive tasks, into habitual actions that happen in the same way, around the same time, in the same manner. Then I don't have to rely on my executive function and discipline quite so much because the tasks are more automated. So one example of that is I check my email at 10 a.m. right after my workout and I spend 20 minutes attending to all the most urgent messages. 
I do that every day and I don't have to think about doing it. I just do it. Another thing I do every day is take a look at my QuickBooks accounting system because I like to keep track of my finances and my expenses. Doing it every day helps me manage my business in a more regulated way. If I wait too long, like a few weeks or even months, I find it very difficult to sort the transactions because I just can't remember what they were and it takes way too long to figure it out. On that topic, however, sometimes I have to break my own schedule. Sometimes I will get a really good idea, like a flash of inspiration at an odd time of day. Remember, I'm a butterfly. For most of my creative practice, I do not wait for inspiration. I just go ahead and get to work. But when the inspiration wanders in, I have learned to strike while the iron is hot because sometimes those ideas come in and I think, okay, okay, I'll get to you soon. Just hang on a second. But when I revisit it later, the energy has left. So if I can, I try to make at least a few notes or some quick sketches so I don't lose the essence of the inspirational idea. My last tip is this, understand that most people can accomplish far less than they think in one day, but far more than they think in one year. James Clear, the author of Atomic Habits, one of my favorite books, suggests that we should strive to get 1% better every day, a very modest goal. My personal tendency is to pile 50 things in a day and accomplish one, but it would be better to think of the 50 things I wanna accomplish in a year and then boil down the tiny, tiny steps it will take to get there. So I really try to think in terms of long-term goals and then make lists out of all the tasks down to the most mundane that will help me accomplish the goal. I call these destination goals and process goals. The best kind of process goal is something that I can do every day and takes less than 20 minutes or even five minutes. I'm curious, what time management techniques and strategies do you use? Let me know in the comments. Also, if you are interested in going deeper with me, the doors to Art Revenue Coaching will be open soon and we have amazing resources and community and live calls with me to help you build an amazing art business. Go to josielewis.com slash ARC, that's A-R-C, to get more info and sign up for the waiting list to get an invite as soon as we open.